Welcome to TradeDMBA.com. This is John's support is for the 12th of June. Well, we saw the continuation of a new highs. Kind of retraces. Not a whole lot of uh, short interest to drive things. So a lot of this is just going to have to be new buyers pushing things forward. Uh, we're still kind of soft with the DOC steel here. But uh, the fact that it had been completely reset, at least from a ES standpoint, from the NQ, we saw that it was a little bit different. Uh, but still performing uh Within expectations at this particular stage, uh, still kind of a soft line here with the rising Azure uh, and the uh, shakeout along with gold, but they're still elevated and shakeout is still rising. So as far as that is concerned, you're going to just get a little bit of that up and back. Um, I think it's pretty clean action so far. No, nothing surprising us at all. And from an NQ standpoint, we had the Brief period of a little bit of softness when we dipped with the short-term buyers below that negative 13.5, but once it turned around there, that was all it took, and did no short activity whatsoever. So, I mean, that's about as clear as it gets, and you can go back through any of the time when you have these periods where uh, the white MBI is uh, that low. It usually corresponds to uh, these kind of DOCs where the cyan is under red, and when that's the case, it's always a buy. Here, it's a little bit easier when we see that because we're not so concerned about the reset of the uh, DOC where we have uh, you know the falling red and that. Now, of course, I think if the red dips below zero, that becomes a bit more problematic because usually you get some kind of a more significant pullback when that takes place, but not so far. Treasuries still elevated relative to where it should be, but. Uh, not surprising uh, this particular stage anywhere below we're right around this 100 to 102 range perfectly normal moving to oil uh, nice move down lower into this uh, upper 60 just below the 70 range and again uh, from my viewpoint it's about time the longer it stays in this uh, the more it frees up for maintaining the status quo which is really uh, more in line with what the Fed would prefer when thinks they want growth. They don't want growth. They want uh, controlled uh, situations. And um, you know, they sucked out a lot of liquidity with higher fuel prices than that. Now, as things get a little bit softer, you ease up on that and you can maintain the situation uh, for quite some time. From a euro standpoint, a little bit of a spike back up above 23, needed to. It had that uh, full fill back of all these positive extremes going back to... Uh, all the way over here and uh, didn't quite fill the dip below the red line that took place over here but that had already been matched so everything else is just the current uh, configuration and most of this is just the eurozone disaster that they're just trying to you know smooth it over so to speak gold again like i said uh, these things aren't going to make significant moves at this particular stage even though you do have your buy configuration here You've got to see some kind of acceleration that justifies um, the change that uh, inflation is going to ramp up again or anything. And at this particular stage, seems modestly under control. Obviously, we continue to monitor it. And like I said, Bitcoin and those aren't going to do anything at this particular stage. Uh, they had filled back uh, quite a few of the positive extremes from here. We still had the original... Uh, breakout move that was there. These other ones had been filled. Going all the way back, the worst case scenario would be a revisit of the original breakout down here at uh, the 18.5 range, but um, as it stands, we're in that imminent danger of that right now. It is looking particularly soft, though. Um, should we see a move back towards the zero, that crossover of uh, MDI Magenta, uh, a little bit of an increase in uh, MDI White, and that would be enough to Break that zero support. And from an ETH standpoint, looks a little bit stronger, relatively speaking, in the sense that it hadn't made the stronger decline that we saw a little bit from Bitcoin, but now it's catching up to that. And so it's just one of those, one of the mean reversion things where eventually they catch up to each other as far as relative terms. Same thing with the NASDAQ and the uh, S&P, you'll either get a slowdown in one or the other. So from the 50K standpoint, you can see a little rally there, took off on the uh, pullback. Um, but from the 50K standpoint, also looking decent. Uh, we had a little spike up pre-market there just to match the highs, and that's selling off at this particular stage in the post-market. 
If we go back to uh, you know before Friday and that, we can see that we had the little dip that came back down here. We spiked back up. That was a dip below the red line. Moving all the way across, you can see it got filled coming across there. And every time there was a little dip, ended up with a nice little rally from that. And once it got back up to there, then we really developed a more sustained move that came up across under all positive extremes and they filled them right back in beautifully. It's very clean. So this is the kind of uh, algo behavior I like because it's really consistent from a mean reversion. You get people too excited in one direction, you flip them back and then you just keep moving it again. So here in post-market, uh, after the close, we ended up with a quick little run to the upside to clear out any shorts. And as soon as you run out of the supply, what do you do? <laughs> you let it come right back down and you fill it back in place. So uh, max pain. And that's the, exactly where markets should be behaving. And so um, as much criticism as the Fed gets and everything like that, this is as close that we've seen to normalization of markets in a long, 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 long time. So I wouldn't complain about it because I think it makes it uh, far more effective to trade, from, at least from an intraday standpoint, uh, relatively speaking. And a lot of times you'll just get a lot of back and forth from a daily that's just going to continue to etch forward at this particular time until uh, something significant breaks. And we just haven't seen anything uh, data wise that would suggest that uh, we need to alter that view. That's the long and the short of it for now. As always, though, trade well. Talk to you later.